Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is going to be leak code 23 merge case sorted lists. So you're given an array of k linked lists called lists. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. Merge all the linked lists into one sorted linked list and return it. So in the example, we have an array of an arrays containing a number of lists. And we just want to have an output that merges all of those lists together in ascending order. Okay, so the idea behind this question is pretty straightforward. The implementation, however, is a bit more tricky. So there are a number of ways you can do this and they all kind of revolve around the same kind of time complexity. We have a brute force approach where we just create an array from this, these lists, and then we use a rudimental sorting algorithm and populate a new sorted list, which will give time complexity of n log n, or we could use a merge sort, which is what we're going to be doing today. So a merge sort is a divide and conquer sorting algorithm. I'll add a link to the merge sort and what this does, rather than creating an entire list and sorting that individual list, we're going to merge two of these lists. So say we merge these two, which is given to one list. And then with this list, what we're going to do is we're going to merge it with this one, which is going to give us the final list, which we can return as the output. So this with this will give us, and then this compared with this. So there are two parts to this question. Firstly, we need a function which is going to grab these two lists and merge them. And then we're going to have another function which is actually going to carry out the merging. So the time complexity for this one, if you know merge sort is going to be O n log k. So with the operations of the merging, we are dividing by two roughly each time and there's going to be n operations. So there's not much to this explanation, but if we dive into the code, I'll show you how it's implemented and it will become a lot more clearer. So firstly, we need to say if the length of lists is equal to zero, return null because there's no lists to be merged. And while the lists length is greater than one, we have two lists that we can merge. So we need to grab both of those. So let list one equal lists dot shift. So we can just grab the first one. And also we need to grab the second one. Now we need to merge these two lists. So we're going to create a separate function for that. We're going to pass in list one and list two, and then we need to add into the lists the merged value. So we update the list. We, we've subtracted two lists from the current list. We've merged them. And then we need to update the list with that merged list. And then because it's going to be an array of an arrays, we need to return lists at zero. So this is the merge sort. Now we actually need to create the merge list function. So if you want an in-depth discussion on how merge list is implemented, I'll leave a link in the description to the video where I discuss that. But for now, I'm just going to run through it very quickly. So we create a dummy node, which can be initialized to any old value. We create a head, which is used as a reference and it will be set to dummy. Then we start the while loop and compare the two lists. So while list one and list two are not equal to null, if list one's value is less than or equal to list two's value, we're going to set the next value of dummy, the next property of dummy, to equal this one. We need to move this one to its next value. Else we do the same, but for list two, and then we also need to update dummy to dummy.next because we need to add the next value from one of these lists to the tail of dummy. And then outside of this while loop, we've reached the end point of one of the lists. So one of the lists is equal to null. So what we need to do now is we need to append to dummy the rest of the list that is not equal to null. So if list one is equal to null, dummy.next is equal to list two. Else dummy.next will be equal to list one. And then finally, we can return head.next. So the reference that we created at the start, let's give that run. 
tell me it's not defined. Okay, so there's a spell mistake. Let's run it again. Let's submit it. And there you have it.